Hey guys, Jordan here and welcome to another episode of Learn to Skateboard. In today's episode, we're going to teach you how to do a pop shove it. Okay, so the pop shove it is probably one of the tricks where you don't need to know how to ollie to do this. Um, if you want, you can learn how to shove it instead of ollieing first. So basically what a uh, shove it is, is when you pop the board and the board spins a 180 rotation in front of you like that. And that's basically a pop shove it. Now before you start this trick, you can start it off doing a normal shove it where you would just um, get the board to do the rotation. And the difference with that and a pop shove it is that a pop shove it is where you actually pop the tail and you get some more air to do the 180 rotation. Foot placement, I like to have my back foot nice and even on your tail. Um, you can have it nice and squared on the tail. Some people would have their toes hanging off a little bit, which will give you a bit more of a scoop. So if you want to have a bit more pop, then I recommend having your foot more on your tail. Your front foot, you can either have it fully on, or what I, I do is I have my heel hanging off and I point my toes towards the bolts like this. So it'll be at an angle and I usually like to have it a few inches below the front bolts. The motion of this trick is pretty simple. What you're going to be doing is rolling regular and either if you're doing a shove it or a pop shove it, your, your back foot, um, this trick is pretty much 98% your back foot. Your front foot's just hanging chilling there. So your back foot's gonna do the if you want to try to shove it first, then it'll just do, do the scooping motion. But if you want to try to pop shove it, you're going to want to pop the tail. And as soon as you pop the tail, what you're going to want to do with your back foot is like kick it back, like scoop it, scoop it back, like kind of how you would do a pu pushing motion. And that kind of motion will get the board to do the rotation. In the meantime, your front foot is going to get off your board and just be hovering on top of your board and make sure your front foot is not doing anything and it stays out of the way because if your front foot stays in the way then it's going to hit the board at some point and the board is going to stop rotating or it's going to flip so, yeah, for, so basically you're going to want to pop or just get right into the scooping motion with your back foot kind of like how you push so kind of go like a like that kind of motion and that will get your board so spinning your front foot is going to hover over your top your board your front foot's going to be the one that catches the board too. So once the board makes a full 180 rotation, your front foot's going to want to stop the board from rotating and your back foot's going to fall and you're going to land. Some common problems with this trick is that when you do the rotation, your board flips or you don't get the full rotation. Um, so basically what you could do is keep practicing the scooping motion with your, with your feet. So what you could do is um, just practice getting the motion and landing one foot like this. So basically once you get the motion down to gain the rotation, then you can fully go for the board and commit to it and land the trick. Um, another thing people may have is just landing one foot. Now if you're only landing with one foot, then the most likely is because you're not committing to the trick. Um, you will probably notice that the board spins in front of you. So what you're going to do is once you pop and scoop and jump, you're going to want to jump a bit forward, which you will uh, find out you'll have to do. And to, to make sure you commit, fully commit to this trick, you could practice doing it into grass. So have your board in front, have the grass in front of you and you just shove it into the grass. And that will give you confidence because you won't be able to shoot out or anything. So once you get comfortable doing that, just keep taking one step back each time and doing it into the grass and eventually you'll just land it on concrete. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it on the pop shove it. If I left anything out, just leave a question in the description, I mean in the comment box below and I'll get back to you on it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.